with this song called Soulfully. And, uh, I don't know, so I already have two fans, and that's good. So I'm gonna, uh, I wrote this after spending some time with uh, at Muscle Shoals, Alabama, with Spooner Oldham, who's a great American musician and a great songwriter. And is, if you've listened to Aretha Franklin or Wilson Pickett or Neil Young or Bob Dylan, you've probably heard Spooner Oldham. You might have even heard his songs. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. But uh, I was spending some time with Spooner working on, on some recordings at Fame and Muscle Shoals, which is a you know fame, famous studio. Where you walk in and there's a gigantic picture of Aretha and a gigantic picture of Otis Redding, and then you walk in the control room and there's a reel of tape that says Dwayne Allman outtakes do not open. You know. It's like, <laughs> and, uh, but it's a but Spooner's also with all that intimidating history is also this one of the sweetest people in the world and truly uh, like Emmy Lou Harris like you know, he he's, he is like he sounds so um, like a true gentleman so anyway I fell in love with Spooner and wrote this song so you got to sing the chorus and I'm gonna show you how to sing it now so like I said we're in G cousin <laughs> there we go. so the chorus is like this this is your part yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, this is your part. So for me, so for me. And I say smiles and laughter. You say so for me. Words so kind. So for me. Here ever after. So for me. Say that you'll be mine. You give me all you got. And that's a lie. Oh, I understand. I'm a lucky man to have you in my life. You make me feel so free, so free. Well, I know you can be tough, but tender too. You know just what to do. Give me what I need, so free, so Give my thanks for you and all the love you bring. 